doing really well. In today's video I am sharing with you four really easy treats that you can make for Valentine's Day or just any time of the year. I have got what I think is the best chocolate chip cookie recipe to share with you. I made mine giant so if you like those Millie's cookies that they do here in the UK then that would be a really good alternative to make at home. I also have some Rice Krispie heart shaped lollipops some chocolate covered strawberries and some gorgeous white chocolate fudge to show you. So I will get straight into the video and show you my really quick and easy recipes. So the first recipe to share with you is this giant chocolate chip cookie. So for this you will need 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of soft brown sugar, a dash of vanilla essence, a tablespoon of syrup, and 150 grams of self-raising flour. And then I have used around 300 grams of chocolate. I always put quite a lot in. And then some Smarties to decorate. And honestly, the recipe itself could not be easier. All you need to do is cream together the sugar, the butter, and the syrup. And once that is nicely combined, then you just want to add your flour, vanilla extract and your chocolate. Now you can use any kinds of chocolates. They're also really nice with things like Rolos in and I always use the three different chocolates. So they are triple chocolate ones. So obviously white chocolate, dark chocolate and milk chocolate. And once all of the ingredients are combined, I just got a pizza tray because that's just quite a good size for a giant cookie and put on some baking paper and then you just want to put it in the middle. Really you don't need to worry too much about shaping it into a cookie shape because it will all spread out. It's quite a sticky mix as well so you can just leave it in a bit of a heap in the middle but it will turn into a cookie and then you just put it in the oven on around 170 and I would say after about 15 minutes I tend to pat mine down a little bit just to shape it slightly just using a spatula and then pop it back in the oven for another five minutes or so and this is how it looked and I decided to add my Smarties to it just decorated it around the edge I chose all of the more Valentine's colors for this video and I just piped a a very bad heart in the middle I am NOT a very good piper but I just gave it a little go I don't think my icing was quite thick enough but you can decorate it however you want you could ice a message on the middle of it I think that would be really nice and that is my giant chocolate chip cookie and I honestly think that that recipe gives you the best chocolate chip cookies that there are <music> Next one is such an easy one to do and it's really good for if you're having a date night on Valentine's Day. You could make some of these really easily and just keep them in the fridge. So it is chocolate dipped strawberries and I just melted 100 grams of dark milk and white chocolate and got some lovely fresh strawberries. I just melted each of them in the microwave for 30 seconds and then just kept checking and stirring as I went. And then all you need to do is dip your strawberries in the chocolate. I think it does help if your strawberries have been kept in the fridge because that when they're cold, the chocolate just sets a lot quicker. So I just dipped mine in all the different chocolates. I even dipped some marshmallows as well. They were really nice. You could do like um, kebabs with different fruits dipped in the chocolate. And then with the chocolate that was left at the end, I just drizzled it all over the strawberries. Really messy the way I did it, but they tasted really good. And these look really nice as a nice Valentine's gift. Really easy and really inexpensive. The chocolate I used was really cheap, just 30p a bar. So it is a really nice special little extra treat for Valentine's that is so easy to do.
Next up is these super cute rice crispy hearts. These are great for kids. My three boys were such a fan. So for this, all you need is 50 grams of butter, 350 grams of marshmallows, 200 grams of Rice Krispies, five drops of red food coloring. I also used a little bit of vanilla, some sprinkles, and I've got some heart cutters and the lollipop sticks off Amazon. And it's so simple to do. It's a really good one to do with kids. I do this with my boys all the time. I just melted some butter. I put in a little bit of vanilla just because I like to have vanilla flavoring in with mine. And then added the marshmallows and you just want to stir them in until it's all melted. So that's just the butter, the marshmallows and a little bit of vanilla. And once it is all melted, then you can add in your food coloring. Obviously add as much as you, or as little as you want, depending on what sort of color you want. Obviously I wanted it to be a nice ready pink color for Valentine's Day and then I just added in my Rice Krispies and made sure that all of them were completely coated and once I was happy with them I then put them into some just some baking dishes that I had that were a good size on some baking paper so that they wouldn't stick and I just pressed them down. You can put some butter on your hands or on a spoon if you wanna try and flatten them down a little bit because they can be really sticky. So butter definitely helps. And then once I had pressed them down into the pans, then I put some sprinkles on and then just pop them in the fridge to set for a, a, about a couple of hours, but I would say two hours. And once they had been in the fridge and they had gone nice and hard, I took them out of the pans and I started to cut them out with my heart shaped cutters. And then it's completely optional, obviously you don't have to, but I did put some lolly sticks on some of mine. So they were little Rice crispy heart lollies and the boys just really enjoyed these. They thought it was really exciting to have them this way instead of the way that they normally do. And it is really inexpensive and easy. The last treat to show you again is another really easy one. I could not believe how quick it was to make this. So you just need a can of condensed milk, 500 grams of white chocolate, 30 grams of unsalted butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And you literally just have to put it all in one bowl. Now, the way I did it, I didn't actually have a bowl big enough that would fit in the microwave to put all of mine in. So I had to do mine in two halves but i'm gonna link recipes below so obviously just follow the recipe not do it the way that i did even though it did turn out fine it was just a little bit more of a faff you're also supposed to put the vanilla in after it's melted but i didn't make any difference really with mine so you just need to pop them all in a bowl melt them in the microwave just checking every 30 seconds giving it a stir and then getting them back out and then it'll be a consistency that's a bit like this and then you just want to pour them into a baking tin onto some baking paper so it doesn't stick and then just smooth out the top i again put some sprinkles on mine to give it that valentine's day feel and then in the fridge it goes for around two hours until it is set and it is turned into delicious yummy fudge and that took probably about five minutes to make before it went in the fridge so a really quick easy treat would be a really lovely gift again really inexpensive just takes you no time at all and looks amazing
that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well if you are not already subscribed. And I would love to see you again for my next one. Bye everyone!